we know that um, finance follows trade. So if we have in traffic and trade at 15% of total trade of Africa, it means that that immediately is a limit to what you can finance from a trade point of view in traffic and trade wise. So if you want to do more, you have to make sure you expand that trade. But the FCFTA is a new agreement. Uh, many countries are still adopting the protocols. So it was good that the Council of Ministers of Trade of the FCFTA thought it wise that a, an entity be created, a trading company be created to spearhead the intra-regional trade. And what better partner than Arise, with whom we already partners in creating value-added goods that are already being traded. These are the kind of goods we want to see in traffic and trade. These are the kinds of goods we want to see in Afri-Caribbean trade. So it was easy for us to agree to work with the FCFT Secretariat and Arise to set up that company and back it initially with $1 billion in trade finance to make sure that trade begins to happen. So currently we are actually exporting meat out of Chad. We used to export animals on foot for about a million dollars. We are already ex exporting now processed meat into Angola, into DRC, into ROC. And earlier the meat used to come from Argentina, but now it's coming from within Africa. And starting, <laughs> starting August, there will be four planes that we are leasing out to do deliveries on a regular basis, on a daily basis. As you pointed out from Benin, we are now actually exporting, you know, Benin used to export raw cotton, but now we are exporting 125 million pieces of garments, fully manufactured, towels, t-shirts, into Africa. For example, the yarn is now getting into Ivory Coast. So that's actually again happening. Uh, if you look next door, Togo, Ghana used to import soya meal from Argentina. Uh, now, and Sen same Senegal, now the soya meal is actually getting exported from Togo into Ghana into Senegal. So again, this is something that is happening, same on timber, and we are multiplying this as we go forward. And as we are multiplying it, we really needed a solid trade finance entity that allows it to make it happen. So I think with creation of ATDC, we'll be actually able to see that this whole trade multiplies significantly. We expect in first year that we should be able to do close to a billion dollars of it turnover within Africa. So once again, a big thank you to President Oram and Afri Exim for making this happen. ATDC for us is an extension of Arise IIP, which is the platform that we set up to aid structural transformation on the continent. We've always said that we would always remain poor if we export raw materials and import finished goods. And that African countries will never change, our directive will never change. The devaluation that we encounter will never change if we don't produce high value goods on the continent. So for us, this is an expression of what Africans must do. We must capture and retain value on the continent. And we do that by building the infrastructure that enables industrialization to take place. So this for us is proof of concept. And we're going to extend this to the battery minerals value chain, where we believe that this is the moment that Africa must seize. We must stop exporting raw copper, raw bauxite, raw um, iron ore, we have to do value addition for that to happen. We have an ambition uh, to make sure that uh, we see commercially meaningful trade on the African continent, smallholder farmers, small medium enterprises, that they are able to access markets which they otherwise would not be able to access if the tools that we are presenting here were not available at uh, their disposal. So we're leveraging on uh, Africa Finance Corporation, uh, on Arise, on Africa Bank, and we bring the rules that enable our smallholder farmers, SMEs, our corporations, to reach this market of 1.4 billion people. Commercially meaningful trade, that's what we are aiming for. Thank you. Thank you very much. Together we are unstoppable. That officially launches the ATDC. Congratulations, gentlemen.